Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another one of my Cube World tutorials. So somebody just put a comment up saying, could I do a video on platinum coins? Kind of where you get them from, what they're used for, that sort of thing. So let's jump straight to it. Okay, so platinum coins are basically your currency for completing missions. So if you pull out your map again, and um, we zoom out, um, if you saw my video from the other day about quests, you'll know that basically cross swords on the map indicate a quest. Um, if you then go and complete the quest, which invariably involves you going and defeating a boss, once you defeat the boss, as well as getting items, you will also get platinum coins. So if you pull up your inventory, you'll see that down here I have my currency, my items, and then down here are my platinum coins. I currently have 216. I haven't used a single one yet, so um, you know that's why I've kind of got so many. Um, but when you have them, what they basically do is they allow you to bring an item up to your current level. So say for example, if I pull up my inventory and you'll see, I know I'm not a mage, but say for example, there's a, a low level mage wand here, power one. Um, if I then use the platinum coin on it, it would then bring it up to my level. So it would match my stats and I would then, you know, be able to use it without it being rubbish. Um, now the platinum coins, the cost of platinum coins does vary depending on um, basically how far it has to go. So if you've got like a really really low level 1 item and you want to bring it up to level 26 it's going to cost a lot more than trying to bring a level 24 item up to 26. Um, so in order to do that what you do is you go to your town uh, if you bring it on a map you won't see it like your normal thing it won't be marked like you know those sort of things but what you want to look for is this tower here. Um, in each town there will be a... whoop sorry let me jump back on my um, little pet here there you go, that's what you're looking for, that white tower. That is basically where the NPC Adventure Master or Quartermaster, or I don't know what, they've probably got like an official name, but something like that. Um, and that is basically the person that will upgrade or use your platinum coins. Okay, so once you're inside, if you go and speak to the person, you'll see that you are presented with this window. So from here, you can take any of your weapons. So um, let's take... Do, do, do. I currently have power 56, so this is a bit lower than me. So let, let me just take this sword for, for example. You right click, and the sword will appear in here. So currently it says if I want to take uh, the sword from power 49 to power 56, this is basically the difference. So, do, 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 do. and it will cost 318 platinum coins, which I don't actually have. Um, but there we go. Let's do it with the wand, for example. So the wand, if I want to take it from power 1 to power 56, then it will cost 50 platinum coins. So if I press adapt, uh, you will now see when I hover over it, it's now a power 56 wand. Now one thing you do want to bear in mind is be careful when you do this, you can only do it once. So I cannot, if you see I'm right clicking on here, I cannot now re-adapt this wand. Um, so if you have a favorite item or an item you particularly like and you want to update it to your current level, that's fine. But don't then go and think you can do it again because you can't. This can only be done once. So again, you can do it with other items as well. So for example, I do quite like this and at some point I'm going to adapt it because I just like the look of it. Um, but it's a lot lower than my current level. So yeah, again, you would do that and you press adapt. And that's about it. So that's all there is to it, really. Um, obviously, you want to kind of pay attention to the stats and see what it is. And as I said, make sure you, you think carefully because you can only do it once. But that is pretty much it. So platinum coins are earned from defeating bosses or completing quests. Um, the important is only if you defeat a boss that's part of a quest, not if it's part of like a random dungeon that's around um, the game world. But yeah, if you complete a quest, you get your platinum coins and then you can spend them here at this chappy. Um, but that is pretty much it. So hopefully that answers your question. Hopefully you found it helpful. As always, don't forget to like and share this video. It does really help me out. And obviously don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out the Facebook page, Twitter page, and the Arrows Gaming website for all your gaming news throughout the week. But otherwise, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.